I am on a mission to change every single structure in Minecraft. This week, I'm doing the shipwreck. What is going on, guys? Miles here, back from another Minecraft video. And in this video, guys, I have made better shipwrecks for Minecraft 1.18. Alright, so here are all the shipwreck variants that can actually spawn. There is quite a few. You have degraded, back half, upside down or something. Actually, I think it's upside down, back half, uh, sideways, back half, degraded, you know, blah, 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 blah. There's degraded versions and normal versions of all of them. Front, uh, front half, back half, full and full with a mast so this is quite a few uh variations but i should only need to really make like four ships you see like this is the same as this one that's the same as that one uh these are the same here you know you know this i think there's about only four so i just gotta make a ship then split it into sections and save it also as a uh, one and boom i have a ship now <laughs> uh, it's quite large it takes three structure blocks to actually hold within it i haven't actually tested if this is jigsaw compatible it did come out in 1.13 jigsaws were 1.14 but i don't know if they update it. it's i probably cannot do this actually uh but i can definitely at least just do the front half and the back half ones uh, this is a perfectly fine ship. There is nothing wrong with it. I need to add, um, you know, all the thing, all the cannonball fire and whatnot into them. But it has, you know, like an interior sort of a very simple one. So you have like a kitchen or whatever. It's quite a big ship. Uh, I had the hull uh, pretty much already made from a different ship that I had done. A while ago so I just used that and modified it a bit uh, here you have like captain's quarters or whatever so there's like oh, I don't know Oregon or whatever did not know where to put the bed so I just put it under there it doesn't really matter because uh, this will be distressed and pretty much destroyed um, so like you have a bit of a storage under here some cannons or whatever so yeah um, it does need to have the loot added the chests and whatnot and it needs to be split up and uh distressed so i probably won't even have the sails like this i don't know why i took the time to actually make them but uh yeah and through the power of editing i'm done with all of that so i have all of the back halves all of the front halves that match the back half if you put them together you still won't quite have the full ship uh but it's pretty close uh, so you can see they're much more distressed now so like you know obviously it's ripped in half there's some holes in the ship and uh, you know if you look at it, my favorite are these sideways ones uh, um, just because they look cool I really like them some things don't exactly make sense on why they are orientated the way they are because Minecraft doesn't really like sideways things, but oh well. <coughs> uh, but yeah, so now I need to figure out how to actually save the big ship as one. Uh, as I did do some experience with Jigsaw, and it is not Jigsaw block compatible at all, which means I am limited to 48 by 48 by 48. Uh, so what I'm trying to figure out is if there's like a way to save like a schematic, like a world edit schematic as a .nbt, which is what these are, uh, or if there's a way to just have like a mod or something make, uh, the size bigger. So, you know, either one of those, e either one. 
please. <laughs> so I got it working. Um, the structure blocks actually do fit all the way to there. I just don't have the mod loaded at the moment. I did earlier. Uh, this is a different session. Um, so I found a mod. It's a fabric mod. I've never used fabric before, uh, but it allows for as big a structure as you want. However, I'm not sure how well they will load into the world because despite, you know, the ability for it to be as big as you want, you really don't actually have that ability. Um, so we'll see how that works. So I have, you know, the upright ones. I did chop off the stems, trying to just optimize them as much as possible. And yes, they are definitely called stems. Uh, also, I made the front of them each unique rather than just this vague looking elephant thing so i have a, a vague mermaid i guess i don't know and it has whatever you call that thing uh this guy doesn't even have a figurehead it just has a really long nose so yeah there's three different versions and then you have the sideways ones and the upside down ones so now I just got to load these into the data pack and see how it works. Again, I really like these sideways ones. They look really cool. But yeah, now I just got to see how it works. And here we are in normal vanilla Minecraft with my giant shipwrecks uh, actually spawning. Uh, there is a weird issue sometimes. I don't entirely know why that things get disconnected and pushed around. I mean, it looks fine still because it's supposed to be a shipwreck after all. Um, but yeah, so it turns out the ones that were upright were way too large to, uh, you know, be used really. So, uh, I just instead replaced them with more sideways ones. So the side ones are more common among the full sized, but I mean, there's still also the upside down ones and you know, the broken ones, but yeah, so now you can do slash locate. You can just, it's normal shipwreck. Uh, obviously, that one to get the one right beside me. So let me uh, teleport farther away so I can, you know. Now I can do locate shipwreck and it will be. Oh, wow. Look at that. I teleported straight to one. So it is obviously m all my shipwrecks. You can download this link in the description below. If there's any issues, comment it or whatever. I'll be sure to try and fix it. Uh, this should work right now only really in 1.18. I'm not sure about 1.19. Uh, but yeah, you can download it and have have it for yourself. Thanks guys so much for watching. There's more structure transformations coming soon. So subscribe and like the video, whatever. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.